Hi, uh, today we're doing a video tutorial for how to use the website issueu.com, which is a really handy and free service for um, publishing your magazine, newspaper, newsletter, various uh, printed um, publication online as a virtual flipbook, which lets you uh, flip through the pages as if you're holding the book in your hand zoom on on particular pages. It's a really neat tactile interface. Um, there's sort of two components of issueu.com. One is this flipbook itself, which is great for embedding like a, a small version on your website, which then your readers can open up from your own website and expand and, you know, interact with the, uh, the flipbook representation of your, your publication. And also it has a social component where people can subscribe to your magazine uh, or newsletter or whatever document uh, and you can also sort of keep a back archive of all of your printed publications going back. Um, so the first thing to do if you're new to issueu.com is to go to the upper hand, right hand corner here and click sign up uh, if you have an existing account, you could uh, log in using the login. I have an existing account queued up here to log in. You can see that it gives you the uh, green check when it accepts your password. Um, and now this is the interface you see when you're logged in. It sort of gives you some details about, uh, about things that relate to that more social function of issueu.com. Um, in the upper hand, right hand corner you'll see your username if you click on that that will take you to uh, editing aspects of your account or your profile again many of those function with the social aspect but um, that's where that would be we're gonna go right to my library which is where you manage your library of your um, of your documents that you've published uh, you see it sort of represents your documents on this virtual bookcase. Uh, there's only one previous newsletter in this instance. Um, if you were to open it up, you'd get a full screen um, flipbook representation. Um, we're going to go ahead and add a new document to this. One thing you'll notice as you build up a larger archive is the... Uh, Bookshelf here has a very handy interface for organizing your back archives by year, month, etc., going back into time, so you don't have to just endlessly scroll through through shelf after shelf. Okay, we're going to hit Upload Document in the upper right-hand corner, and we are going to upload a new PDF to make to publish the newest edition of this newsletter. Uh, here's the PDF we're using. Uh, Issue you only works with PDFs, you, as you can read here. Uh, it's limited to 500 pages and 100 megabytes in size. If you have a large document with a lot of color ads, color photographs, you f may find that you need to uh, use the um, PDF optimizer feature in Adobe Acrobat to uh, compress some of those photographs so that you come in under that 100 megabyte limit. Um, in this instance where you're doing a black and white newsletter, it's fairly short. Uh, we won't have any issue with that. So let's go on. You have to have a title. The title in this instance is specific to this particular edition. It's not the uh, title of your all of your publications. It's the title of this particular one. So uh, we're going to put a date in. To specify that and the title of the publication is Gepo and it is the newsletter for the Buddhist Church of San Francisco so we'll put BCSF news this description um, is more geared towards uh, people that find you through issue you so it again it's focused on that that more social aspect and it's best to put a simple description of what your publication is about. There's a simple description of this newsletter. We're 
moving on. Um, this web name is the uh, is the URL that the standalone version of your uh, flipbook will have. That's fine. In this instance, uh, you have to put in keywords, and we're going to make it pretty simple. It's uh, this instance. We're going to put uh, Buddhist. San Francisco. You could add more keywords to make it easier to find your document, but we'll keep it simple here. Um, uh, this, the info link, is the website, uh, you know, related to your publication. Um, if you're a newsletter, etc., you are, you'll want to put its uh, its website. In this instance, we're going to put up the website of the Buddhist church. And uh, the URL needs to be a complete URL with the HTTP colon backslash backslash www. Uh, you know, some things automate that, but this uh, particular instance needs a full URL. This is a newsletter, which isn't necessarily one of the listings here. So, um, since it has a very sort of uh, direct field of interest and it's not really a glossy magazine, I'll pick journal. Maybe I could have picked newspaper, it depends on your preference. Uh, by default, it says child safe. This is definitely child safe. And um, moving down, there's the category of interest, what it's about. This being a uh, church newsletter. We'll pick religion and philosophy. Uh, this particular document is in both English and Japanese, but it's predominantly English, so we'll pick that. And we'll pick North America, and we'll go ahead and hit upload file. Uh, so now it begins to upload our file. This will take a minute, so I'll probably skip the tutorial forward. First it uploads it, then it brings you back to that library uh, view where it shows your document as being processed while it digests it and turns it into the flipbook and eventually when it's done with both of those two steps you'll see your document then uh, displayed in the uh, virtual bookshelf as uh, published and available for you to use and we'll just skip ahead now